Hey there. Now in the previous videos, we spoke about how to find one side of a triangle when you are given two sides. And then in part two, we spoke about how to find one side when you are given one angle and one side. Now in this video, we are going to be looking at how to find the angle when you are given two sides of a triangle. Now to find out how to do this, stay tuned. Welcome to Rise Up Namabia. My name is Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So, before we start with the lesson, I'd like to give a shout out to Lydia Kandanga for commenting on the previous video. Thank you very much for your feedback and shout out to you. Back to the lesson. Now from the previous videos, we know that a triangle has three sides. Namely the hypotenuse, the opposite and the adjacent. Now do you remember how to label the sides of a triangle? If not, just for revision. The hypotenuse is always the line opposite our 90 degree, meaning this line. Okay? The opposite is always which line? It's always the line opposite the other angle you are given beside the 90 degree. So although in this video we are going to be looking for that angle, the opposite is still the line opposite that angle. Meaning, this line is our opposite. Okay? Now knowing that a triangle only has three sides and two sides are already labeled, our third side automatically becomes the adjacent. Good. I see you still remember how to label the triangle. Now remember these ratios from the previous video. We'll be using the same ratios except now we'll be using their inverse. Okay? So you still don't have to memorize them. The only word you need to memorize is Sokatoa. So how do you use this inverse ratios and Sokatoa to solve for the angle? I'll show you just in a moment. Say you have triangle ABC. Mm? And now you are given line AC, which is 20 meters. And then you have, you have line BC, which is 15 meters. And then you are asked to find this angle. So what do you do? So the concept is the same. Number one, always label your sides. Okay? So what are your sides? Let's start with the hypotenuse. Which side is the hypotenuse? We check on our 90 degrees here. So the hypotenuse will be this line. Good. So which one is our opposite? The opposite is always the line opposite the other angle, which is not the 90 degree. So it will be this one. Now knowing that the triangle has three sides and two sides are already labeled, the third side automatically becomes our adjacent. Good. Now, after you have labeled your sides, you want to bring out your word Sokatoa. Okay? Now that your word Sokatoa is here, you check your labelings. Your upper side. Do you have a figure for it? Yes, you have 15 meters. Your hypotenuse. Do you have a figure for it? Yes, you have 20 meters. Now what about your adjacent? Is there a figure? No, there is no figure except the labeling that it's an adjacent. So when we come back to our third three letter terms here, which is the saw, the car and the tor, we are going to be looking for the term that does not have an A. So which one doesn't have an A in Sokatoa? It's the first one. Okay? So knowing that S stands for sin, we write that sin. But remember, each time you are looking for the in like the angle of a triangle you always use the inverse of sin and not only sin. Okay? Now, normally when we write our sin, next to our sin, we normally write whatever angle we are given here. Now, since we don't have an angle and we are looking for the angle, we just write the angle's name. So, for example, this angle is A. Okay? 
Now they differ. Sometimes they can put the the letter like X inside here or maybe A, B, C, D. Whatever letter is there, we write our sin, the inverse of sin, and then you label your angle's label. Okay? So in our case, our angle is A. So you write the inverse of sin, and then your angle, which is A, is equal to. Now when you come from the S, the, next to the S, there is an O. So the O is the opposite. So what is our opposite here? It's 15. Divided by, next to the O, there is a H for hypotenuse. So you come to your hypotenuse. What is your hypotenuse? It's 20. So you divide the 15 by 20. Okay? Now very important. You put this into brackets. Because some calculators don't get the answer. Like a correct answer. If you just type it in like this. Now let me show you how to type the inverse of sin into your calculator. So if you have a calculator like mine here, once you turn it on, it will show like this. Now the first thing you want to do, you want to press the shift button, which is this one. Okay? And then after you press the shift button, since in this case we are looking for the inverse of sin, you press the sin button after you have pressed the shift button. So after you have done that, it should show something like this. Okay? Now once it's showing something like this, you enter your open bracket, 15 divided by 20, and then you close the bracket. And then you press your equal sign. So what does your calculator say? What is angle A equal to? It's equal to 48.6 degrees. Okay? And that's your final answer. Let's check out another example. So, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to give it a shot and see if you can get the correct answer. Feel free to pause the video. Okay? Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to label the sides. So which side is our hypotenuse? To be this side. Which side is our opposite? To be this side. Now which side is our adjacent? To be on top here. Now which one is not given a figure? So our adjacent is 11. Our hypotenuse is 23. We don't have an opposite. So in our word Sokatoa, we look for the three letter term that does not have and O for the opposite. So which three letter term is that one? It's the one in the middle, which is ka. doesn't have an O. So we know in ka the C stands for cos. But now, because we are looking for the angle of the triangle, we don't just use cos. We use the inverse of cos. Okay? And then after we write the inverse of cos, normally we will write whatever angle we are given. But in this case, since we are not given an angle, we write the angle's name, whether it's A, B, or what. But in this case, this angle's name is B. So we write there, the angle B is equal to what? When you come back to your car, next to the C, you have an A for adjacent, which means 11. So 11 divided, what is by, by our hypotenuse? What is our hypotenuse? It's 23. So we divide it by 23. Now remember, very important. You put them into brackets. Now into your calculator, you type again the shift and then the cos to get the inverse of cos. And then open bracket, 11 divided by 23. And then you close the bracket and then the equal sign. So your answer will be 61.4 degrees. And that's your angle B. Okay? So before we check out the last example, how are you finding this video? Is it helpful? If yes, please do support the channel by giving us a huge thumbs up. So back to the lesson. Let me quickly give you 10 seconds to give a shot and see if you'll get the correct answer.
OK. So let's label our sides the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. Then we bring out our Sokatoa word. Good. Now that we know that our opposite is 15 and our adjacent is 10, but we don't have a hypotenuse. So in our three letter words here, which one is not having H for hypotenuse? The first one, so is having an H, the ka is having an H, the toa does not have an H. So we are going to be using toa. Okay? So what does the T stands for? It's the 10. Now not just 10, but the inverse of 10. Why is it the inverse of 10? Because we are looking for the angle. And every time we look for the angle, we use the inverse. Okay? So what do we write next to the inverse of 10? We write the name of the angle, which is B, equals to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So our opposite is 15 and our adjacent is 10. So remember to put it into brackets and you use the same method that I showed you on the calculator. So your answer will be 56.3 degrees and that's your final answer so thank you very much for watching this video please do like subscribe turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload share with friends family and classmates and remember together we rise to higher heights apart we all stay behind cheers